According to Indian folklore, the Kihis lived for many prosperous generations in the San Bernardino Valley. This fertile land they called Guanchina, the place of plenty, was overtaken by the angered sun spirit who caused their fertile valley to become stricken by drought. In order to appease the great father spirit, the chief sacrificed his only daughter. Soon after the sacrifice, the great spirit sent forth two flaming arrows. One of these arrows missed its target and it fixed itself into the side of the mountain. The other struck down the sun spirit and banished him into the soil. Where the sun spirit was forced into the mountain, hot springs bubbled up, healing the Kihis from the drought that almost destroyed their way of life. Although there are several variations of the legend of the arrowhead, each story sheds light on the mysticism that the landmark has casted over early settlers. For example, the Serrano tribe claims to have been led to the San Bernardino Valley by the Great Spirit, who sent a large flaming arrowhead that had fixed itself in the valley that they were to settle. The arrowhead-shaped natural landmark has been emblazoned on the San Bernardino mountain range for many hundreds, if not thousands of years, and its mysticism has attracted many to settle in the valley in which it so blatantly points to. Therefore, the arrowhead has played a major role in the formation of the San Bernardino Valley. One natural phenomenon wasn't enough to attract settlers. The arrowhead points to another natural wonder. Boiling hot springs where geothermal mineral water bubbles out of the ground some of the hottest temperatures in the world. With the arrowhead formation and the hot springs coinciding, it is no wonder why this site has been the source of mysticism, awe, healing, and relaxation. Not only has the arrowhead sparked origin stories with the Native American tribes who first settled this land, but the first white settlers as well. In 1851, the president of the Church of Latter-day Saints, Brigham Young, dispatched a band of disciples westward to colonize a valley that he saw in a vision. In this vision, Young saw the head of an arrow on the side of a mountain pointing down towards a fertile valley. After a long journey, the disciples finally came upon this arrowhead, and they established the city of San Bernardino. One of those Mormon settlers was Dr. David Noble Smith, and in 1857, he discovered what the Native Americans had known for centuries that hot springs bubbled below the arrowhead. American Indian Desiree Ellis describes how the Indians viewed the arrowhead springs. Since the tribes felt that the arrowhead was a gift from their gods, it's only natural for them to believe that the springs would have healing qualities. Smith also viewed the arrowhead as a sacred symbol of his Mormon faith, so he too believed that the hot springs would have healing qualities as well. Traumatized by the death of his father and other family members from consumption, as tuberculosis was known in those days, Smith vowed to establish a treatment center for consumption on the site of the hot springs. In 1964, he along with John Brown Sr. built the first structures on the site. Smith used the natural hot mineral water to heal various diseases inside his treatment house, which he called the hot springs infirmary. In 1967, he enlarged the crude wooden complex into a hotel. The site became known as the Arrowhead Springs Hotel. After Dr. Smith had died in 1885, the hotel burned down and was rebuilt. Under the new ownership, the healing aspect of the hot springs was abandoned, but the hotel was short-lived and burnt down again in a forest fire in 1895. Ten years later, the third Arrowhead Springs Hotel was built, and the hotel began bottling the natural spring water for guests. The Arrowhead Springs water was so popular, Paritas Bottling Company brought the rights to distribute the water in the Los Angeles area under the name Arrowhead Water. The spring water is still bottled and sold today, but on a much wider scale. At the hotel, the mineralized hot springs were used to heat the pool, create steam rooms, and fill mud baths. The hotel was promoted as a luxury resort, and in 1930, a resort brochure touted the healing qualities of the mineral water. The pool was said to be radioactive and contained disodium arsenate that increased appetite and improved the normal functioning of the body, imparting new tone and vigor. The mud baths were said to give immediate relief from rheumatic and similar pain because of the arsenic-impregnated mud. It was said to cure or improve almost any known disease at the time, for, from diabetes to malaria to obesity. This amazing PR campaign, the Arrowhead Springs Hotel, became a popular spot for Hollywood A-listers like Loretta Young, Mary Pickford, and Humphrey Bogart. This golden era of the Arrowhead Springs Hotel was short-lived, though. A fire once again destroyed the structure in 1938. A new six-story concrete hotel was built in 1939. The grand opening was broadcast live on radio and included stars like Marx Brothers and Judy Garland. Once again, Hollywood A-listers enjoyed the healing qualities of the Arrowhead Springs Hotel. The hotel continued to heal, and in 1944, during the Second World War, soldiers were brought to the Arrowhead Springs Hotel for rehabilitation. The U.S. Navy took over the entire complex, making it a hospital for wounded soldiers. 
A Navy postcard given to these wounded soldiers displayed a picturesque view of the hotel, the description stating, where the air is pure and invigorating. The hotel remained largely unchanged during its time as the Arrowhead Springs Naval Convalescent Hospital, and it treated nearly 6,000 soldiers. The president of the San Bernardino Historical Society, Stephen Shaw, describes what it was like for these wounded soldiers. Well, the whole facility was turned into a naval hospital, and it was pretty ideal. They had the swimming pools, um, the, the hot water to help um, rehab these uh, soldiers that were injured in World War II. Unfortunately, the hotel and its hot springs are currently vacant, and this historic and symbolic site lies dormant until the next owner revives its healing potential. For now, simply the view of the arrowhead will have to satisfy the city, which owes its formation to the mysticism surrounding the Arrowhead Springs.